a big story tonight in an exclusive interview to NDTV on the buck stops here. The HRD minister Smriti Irani had leveled serious charges against Anil Kakotkar, famed nuclear scientist, basically accusing him of breaking the law. That's the exact phrase she used, accusing him of pushing his own candidate for an appointment at the IITs. Now Anil Kakotkar is hitting back, saying that the charge is baseless and entirely untrue. Take a look first at what Ms. Irani said and how Mr. Kakotkar is rebutting her charge. Anil Kakotkar said that you had a very casual, your ministry had a very casual approach to how IIT directors were being selected. Yeah. He didn't want to be part of the process. He put in his papers. He then said you convinced him to stay on and complete yeah. his term. Yeah. Now that all that is behind us, do you believe that antagonizing somebody as respected as a nuclear scientist like Anil this Kakotkar is, where, is something that could be handled differently? The problem lies in the question that you pose. What's the problem? Is my responsibility towards the taxpayer and those even who don't pay taxes, is my responsibility towards them or am I to use my office to make sure that I cozy up to any such people that you deem intellectual or who are celebrated as intellectual? Mm. Why I say this is that I've never spoken about Dr. Kakotkar and I say this today. Uh, I, as a chairperson of IIT Council, had an opportunity to sit on selection of three directors. Mm. I, um, as uh, propriety and as the law demands, the chairpersons of each IIT was very much a part of the selection process. People are, to, uh, are supposed to apply for the job, get interviewed and mm. then come up to the final round. I saw a name which had not applied for the job, which had not done any interviews. And I told Dr. Kakudkar that I am to step out for a parliamentary meeting, uh, kindly ensure that this name, which has not applied for the job, mm. which has not given any interview, mm. does not make it to the final round because it's illegal and it's improper. I which said, name was it? Whichever name. It's a part of records. And you're what saying that name, that name had not gone through the due process? Due process. And I said, who picked that name? He said, I did. I said, sir, with all due respect, this cannot happen. I said, in my absence, kindly don't interview this gentleman, otherwise you will sully the entire process. I come back and uh, I'm told, I interview kar liya hai. I said, sir, in that case, you have to call everybody who applied for the job again, so that they give their interviews again. And this gentleman be told that next time he wants a job, kindly put in, in you know, a word by applying for the job, giving interview, going through the due process and then. He was slighted that I am Dr. Kakodkar and why wouldn't you listen to me? I said, I am supposed to listen to the rule of law. Does that mean that I get clobbered in, in the media for what Dr. Kakodkar said about me? Absolutely, that is his right. But what I am saying today are papers which are available with me, which I can prove. But the story got totally overshadowed by Dr. Kakodkar who was visibly upset. Why? Because an upstart of a minister said, follow the law. So your charge eminence does not give you the right hmm. in any fashion to? to break the law and you're saying dr kakotkar was I'm trying to break a, the law i am not trying to uh, change bend any, the rules bend the rules whatever i have given you a factual recount of the story my my request is eminence in no way is uh, gives you an opportunity or a handle to break the law what i speak today is very much on file I never speak without evidence. The HRD Minister uh, Smriti Rani has alleged that you tried to bend the rules and that's the reason why uh, there was, you know, uh, you know, a misunderstanding between both of you. No, there is no truth in that. I have seen uh, the NDTV interview. The fact is that uh, it was a search and selection committee. And uh, search committee means you have to search out a candidate. So it obviously goes beyond uh, those who have applied. This is number one. Number two is, so there was one candidate proposed, but that was not by me. To, you know, to allege that I was trying to push is actually false. The, there was uh, actually, in search committee, always uh, get, uh, because you know, after all, you have to get the best people for running the institution. Sir, hasn't the process changed in the sense to bring in transparency, uh, put advertisements to ensure that all of them put their names in, apply for the job, that's what she's saying it and is, then... It is fully transparent, the rules are same, and there is no change. You always advertise, so there is an advertisement, everybody is free to apply. 
but in addition to that, we can identify some candidates in search mode and all of them are interviewed. It's not as if those who are in search mode, they are not. All of them are interviewed and then you make a choice of the best person. So it's quite transparent. So in this case also, well, first of all, to make an allegation that I was interested in somebody is absolutely false. But you were part of the search and I was a part of the search committee and so in fact, I have, this is being done. So when there was a proposal that can we look for some additional candidates, I said yes. And this is very common. There is nothing unusual about it. And was it on this ground itself that she opposed and she told you not to? I don't know what was the ground. All these things are coming out. But this is a normal process. And even before when we uh, sort of sat down to discuss how should we go about it, it was agreed that we will look for people in the search mode. She's saying when she called it out, saying that this was illegal, the process, you felt slighted. Well, I think it's much worse than that. How it is illegal, I have not understood even today. There is nothing illegal about it and I have done so many. Otherwise, why do you call it search committee? If, if it is, uh, you know, uh, just a selection committee, then you can say, okay, you only those who have applied, you call it a search and selection committee. Mm -hmm. And there are many uh, places where you see good people you want, you have to invite them. Eminent people, you just float an advertisement, they will never apply. Now, do you want to take our institutions up or down? He's saying she has evidence to prove it, all of it. Evidence to prove what? That there was this whole process was not done properly. I am telling you, the process was a search mode. In the search mode, there was a candidate, not proposed by me as it was alleged. It was proposed by somebody else. but. They were all interviewed together, so uh, this is entirely in accordance with the process. You also saying the entire process with which the kind of see the question was is, casual. Uh, of course, it was casual because you can't uh, suddenly look at such large number in one day and, and be done with it. We had actually gone through a process which went through some two or three days, mm -hmm. and still we had not come to the final conclusion. You cannot put that aside and then put the whole thing in six hours. I think 36, 37 candidates in... Yeah, so how can you do that? This is, even at a very low level appointments, we spend more time. You have... Like the, the many who have raised questions about the way the minister works, uh, what are... You have any concerns or you're okay with that? Well, well obviously I'm not okay, but, uh, but that's something I don't want to comment.